Hello, welcome. Thank you all so much for joining me here. My name is Charity and this message is for Aquarius. This is going to be a you and them love reading. So I'll have your cards on one side and your person's cards on the other. This is someone you are connected to energetically, romantically, someone you are thinking about, and someone who is thinking about you. I'm recording this message for the energies of October, but I ask these readings be timeless and have something you're meant to hear whenever they reach you. Okay, something already jumped out. Page of Cups. Somebody wants to flirt with you, Aquarius. I mean, that one just flew out, so we are going to take it. Okay. Oh my gosh. And yours just came out, too. That's a whole bunch of cards, though. Go ahead and see if we can't get these one at a time. Okay. What is the heart of the matter for Aquarius? What is the heart of the matter? What are some things happening in daily life that could be affecting this connection? What's going on in the heart space? How are you feeling about your person? What intentions might you have towards this connection? What is the potential outcome in the near future one flew out for whenever you are meant to hear this reading oh my goodness chariot on the bottom of the deck i love this chariot card i think it's so cute with the little cats on it but this is forward mo motion um after some healing after some inner work after some reflection it's things moving forward so Definitely got a lot of love, love energies coming towards you for October. Okay, the Page of Cups already flew out for your person for the heart of the matter. So someone's wanting to flirt. But what is going on in their daily life? What is happening in their daily life? What intentions might they have towards this connection? Oh my goodness, these are just jumping out. And what is a potential outcome near future? Oh my goodness. For October or whenever you were meant to hear this message. Okay. We got an eight of swords on the bottom of the deck for your person. So they are kind of up in their head about this right now. Maybe overthinking what to say, what to do. And, um, and yet that energy is shifting because this person is definitely doing something. So heart of the matter, we have the Hierophant, Taurus energy. Someone that you could, you could really commit to, someone you could spend some time with, someone you could see yourself happy with, and not just like the big romantic energies, which there's quite a lot of this here, like there is that connection, but it's the person you'd enjoy doing the little things with, you know, like running out for coffee in the morning and, uh, talking about the different things happening in your life or with your friends and family, you know. Um, it's not just, it's not just the big, the big romantic gestures and those big moments that are meaningful. It's, those are a big part of it. But it's also just having someone you can share your time with. Someone you genuinely enjoy being around. Someone you get excited to see. Someone you smile every time you make eye contact with them just a little bit, you know, just because there's something there. And I feel like that's that's what this what this energy is. Um, I'm just really drawn to the Taurus energy. And Taurus is just love the kind of the good things of life, you know, and, and being there, like being there for one another. So I like that for you a lot. The um the person which is interested in you. The heart of the matter for them is the page of cups and it flew out. They're definitely having some very 
romantic feelings for you, but they're very warm, they're very sweet. This is someone who can really open up and maybe they haven't yet because we have that eight of swords energy and there's a little bit of waiting energy in this connection, but this is somebody that really could open up if, um, if given the chance and, and they're very attracted to you. Like they're very, they find you very attractive. They find you really interesting. And I feel like they are flirting or have been flirting, but they're a little nervous about it too. So in your daily life, you've got the hanged man energy. Pisces energy could be significant, but there is something, something you may be working through, something that you might be dealing with in your daily life that might be keeping you from jumping directly into this connection or vice versa. There's a lot of attraction. There's a lot of interest, but there's something here, something to do with um, the fact that it hasn't quite been the moment yet, you know, the moment to really see it happen, make it happen. But I feel like things are unfolding. I feel like you both are beginning to realize there's more here. Your person is definitely realizing something because they've got an Empress card in their daily life. More Taurus energy, Libra as well. Um, they're drawn to you, they're attracted to you. They feel like there's a lot of potential here. And they think about you a lot. It's real interesting. I mean, it's, I don't usually get this in readings, but I'm seeing the two of you kind of being in different places, sort of doing different things, doing your routines, maybe little things like grocery shopping, and then just kind of thinking how much fun it would be if, if the other person was there with you, you know? So there could be some sort of long distance that's a challenge because I feel like the two of you are apart from one another, but there's genuine warm feelings between the two of you. And you keep thinking about how nice it would be just to have them right there. And, you know, to like make dinner together or something like that. And, um, and there's definitely romance and we'll get to that. Um, and this person is falling for you, but they also just genuinely want to be around you more, see you more, talk to you more. You've got the Empress in your heart space. I love this. Um, mirroring Empresses, absolutely beautiful energy. A lot of feminine energy here, and um, that doesn't have anything to do with male or female. We all have masculine and feminine energies. But there is something about this connection where I just feel like the two of you click on like a more personal level. You make, you make sense to one another. And um, this connection definitely has its challenges because for some reason you are missing one another and thinking about one another a lot and feeling for one another, and yet you're both kind of feeling on your own, like it hasn't been the right time or the right moment yet. Um, but there's something going on with you, Aquarius, with this Empress in your heart space, that you really are getting clear about some things in your life. There's a lot of creativity, it's, it's love, it's making things, it's doing what you love, it's making things happen, it's starting something that can really go someplace. Um, and I feel like you're thinking about this person a lot, but I do feel like you're in your own energy. You are in your own energy, doing your own thing, which is a really positive place to be. And your person in their heart's face has a page of swords. So they've got a page of cups for you. They are seeing you as the empress. Like there's definitely attraction, interest, flirtation, romantic feelings. And yet in their heart space, they got this page of swords. They don't know. I don't think they know how you feel or where this could go or what could really happen. It's like they're hopeful. Um, they're looking at your pictures. They're wondering about you. If you know people, even though this feels a little bit distant, like to me, it feels like a little distance here, be it emotional or physical. It feels like there's a little distance here. Um, they're trying to find out about you. <laughs> they're trying to find out what your story is. You know, are you single? Are you free? You know, are you interested? There's a lot of curiosity with this person. 
and their intention is hanged man energy. So you guys got the hanged man on both sides, Pisces energy. So it's, it is like an emotional energy, but for some reason you both feel like there's something that you have to wait for. And I don't know if you're both waiting for a sign from the other person or you're both waiting for a time when you can get together and see one another. But there's something about this connection and these are major arcana. And with the hanged man, a lot of times it's something that the universe is doing. And we do see that you have some healing and some things that you've been going through, Aquarius, with that chariot. And I feel like the moment that you're ready, this could go really fast, but there's something you're still processing. There's something you're still working through um, at the beginning of October here, but I feel like it's turning around. Um, your intentions are the Knight of Coins, which means you are interested in this person. You would like to see something happen, move steadily towards them, but I feel like you may have taken some time to get really clear about yourself with this Empress card in your heart space before you really think about the next moves or, or what you're gonna do or when you're gonna be together. I feel like there's something that has been um, going on with you with like your feelings towards this person that you're always kind of steadily moving towards them. Even if you've been in other connections, even if you've had other things going on, even at times you thought you might not see them or it might not work out. It's like your heart is still steadily moving towards this person. And I feel like they're steadily moving towards you. Um, for your potential outcome, we've got the Five of Pentacles with the Three of Cups with the King of Cups. So there's a shifting energy here. You are missing this person for some reason. That's why I feel like there's some sort of distance. The connection is there. The potential is there. I saw this in the Capricorn reading, but for some reason they feel distant. They feel far away. Um, and you could be seeking some support, you know, um, with your friends, with your people. We've got a three of cups here. Or this person could be a friend that is having a lot more feelings for you. Um, oh, Taurus energy with that five of coins, three of cups. We have um, cancer energy for, for me as a reader. But, um, but all but water. It's like Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But I feel like you might be missing this person. You might even be talking to your friends about it. I feel like they're talking to their friends about you. I feel like both of you want to see this happen. And um, and yet there's been some sort of there's been some sort of delay. There's been some sort of some sort of some sort of difficulty, but you've got a king of cups, king of chalices coming in. And this one is a dragon, so coming in with some intention, some, some action, some fire, some passion, some flirtation, some romance. And it's almost, it's almost a little surprising because you've been thinking about them, but I feel like you've been kind of working on yourself, doing your own thing. You've been missing them. You, I feel like you've been maybe friends with them or maybe talking to friends of this five of pentacles and this three of cups and you're here kind of doing your thing having fun um maybe doing some different projects collaborating with people i get a lot of like um <laughs> collaboration and creative collaborations it's not for everyone but for some with that three of cups um but you could be just having fun going out you know doing things or getting together with friends and then in comes this king of cups <laughs> But a lot of intention, a lot of romantic intention towards you and a lot of interest, Aquarius. And I feel like you, you're kind of just doing your own thing, maybe going to see friends, maybe hanging out with friends. And then all of a sudden, it's like, you just know, you know, you could even be in a group and just look up and see them looking at you and just know, like, wait, there's something more happening here. Um their potential outcome are the ace of cups the fool and the four of wands this person has been a little in their head they have had some nerves they have been a little stuck about how to move forward i feel like with seeing you as like kind of the empress energy but then with this page of swords like not really sure how you feel they could even be like thinking you know 
almost, this obviously not going to be for everyone, but almost maybe feeling like you're out of reach a little bit with this Empress energy. Maybe really feeling like possibly you're, you're out of reach or it's not possible or you have too much going on, but, but you have feelings for this person. This is someone you like and something is shifting, um, here in October with the Ace of Cups, the Fool and the Four of Wands. This person, it's like they can't deny their feelings any longer. They have to take a leap. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And then I get a lot of Aries um, and Aquarius energy with the Fool myself. So it's very interesting because that's your energy there. But with the Ace of Cups, there is love. And I feel like it's just, it's like kind of bubbling up and overflowing. The emotions that they have for you is just not something that they can really hold down much longer. And I feel like they're just going to kind of get out of their head, follow their heart, and take this, take this leap with this full card. Take this leap and ask for this four of wands. Can, four of wands, it's one of my 1111 cards. It's one of my relationship cards. It's a commitment card. It's two people taking something to the next level, getting together, getting exclusive, you know, friends and um, starting to date, people getting engaged, moving in together. It's all different things. And there's so many people watching these readings now we're all in different places in our connection but the thing that is collective is this energy and the energy is this person has too feels too much for you to put off taking this leap any longer and they want to and they want to take something to the next level so um for some it may even be like a trip Somebody might just call you up and be like, hey, I really want to see you. And can I come see you? You know, obviously not for everyone, but for some, that Aries energy is a really impulsive, impulsive trip. Or they could just really impulsively ask you to like get together. Um, but with this King of Cups, there's some really, when they do do that, and they might even ask his friends with this, this Three of Cups here, you know, to see you. And with this King of Cups, there is a lot more a lot more to their feelings. Very romantic feelings. Like the King of Cups is deep. Like when you get that Scorpio energy, like that deep, deep kind of kind of love, you know, with the with the open-hearted emotions and the passion. This connection that does feel, you know, like how I said, that feels like they think about you and they think about the little things and they think about cooking and they think about just, you know, taking walks with you, all of that. There's also a lot of deep, like passionate, romantic feelings. So there's a fire to this person that you may not have realized yet or seen yet, but it's not something that I feel like they can hold back much longer. And this is something that you welcome because you got a Knight of Coins facing right towards that energy. This is someone you're interested in, Aquarius. So that is the message I have for you. I love it. The October energies have been, the readings have been really interesting. And I know we've all been dealing with this Mercury retrograde for a little bit. We come out of that October 2nd, Mercury goes forward. And I feel like the energies are shifting. I feel like, you know, this, this Hinkman energy as we kind of get started, I feel like has to do with Mercury retrograde. It has to do with that time when many of us went within, there's been some miscommunications, different things have been on hold, but it's like the moment that um, you feel like, hey, I'm ready for this. I'm ready for this, whatever it is. And it's like you put that energy out there, like this chariot energy, and you say, universe, I'm like ready for this it all just shifts and everything moves forward and goes direct and the connection really takes off and things move more quickly than I think you're even expecting because this person with this page of swords um, has had their eye on you and been thinking about you for a long time and been thinking about taking this step, to thinking about making this move. And there's something about the energies of October where things just shift and they take that initiative. So that's a message I have for you. I want to thank you all so much. Um, these are general readings, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't. But if it feels right to you, if it makes you happy, if it's if it feels like, yes, I want that, it's yours. It's yours. Claim it. 
And um, if you like the video, I'd love you put a like. If you haven't subscribed, I'd love if you would. If the message spoke to you in any way, I would love to hear how. It encourages me so much when I hear from you guys. And I know that you're interested and I know you like watching my readings. It makes me want to make more. And I just get excited about that. The interaction is really big for me. Like I love hearing from you guys. And, um, and if something spoke to you and you'd like to look to, into your personal situation a little more in depth, I have uh, tons of reading options on my website, charitychanice.com. I'd love to hear from you. So a wonderful October, and I will talk to you all soon.